getting ourselves in. Uh, let's see what the lanes are, see what they do. Start. Pretty intimidating 1437 silence. Look at that. It is. Look at that face. It's got some sort of juggernaut mask on. That one. It's pretty sick looking one. I have to say, I've always liked, I've always loved watching Cuckoo and Raven. These two, these two guys always on TMC have been outstanding like performers. They always end up having like 25 kills, 24 kills, like one death or something. So I always keep eyes on them. But not only just them, don't want to sleep on the supports, Tim's. This guy is always a beast whenever he plays like his Earth Spirit or whatever roaming hero he does. So eyes on him and Yapsor to be making the plays around the map for their teams. Tim's a bit of a wallop there from Yapsor. And I mean, which lane do you feel is going to suffer the most? Who's going to have the hardest time in this this opening? The lanes uh, looking to be pretty much as expected with the, the safe lane tri lanes coming out. Depends on how they start. Do they? I think they are going to start the tri lane aggressive. That's what I'd imagine. Oh, you think they it's will? Just, it's a very okay. secret thing to do. Ah, oh, yeah, they're switching it out now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, this maybe. is like their maybe that's their bread and butter usually. So we'll see if they do want to do that one. I would say probably mid one if they don't actually help him because Tinker versus Invoker is a pretty hard matchup for the Invoker. Mid one is one of the more comfortable ones on it though, so we'll see if, how he's able to do. Massive amount of pings coming out. Secret seems to want to try to deward lane ward that TNC places, but TNC this game did not prioritize it. They prioritized putting the mid ward, and they prior prioritized putting the ward kind of watching where the Crystal Maiden's movements would be through the jungle. Yeah. You see any bounty ru runes being stolen? Each and so uh, grabs the couple. The double, look at the three man block in mid lane right now by Secret. They really <laughs> want to make sure that mid one gets the perfect block for that mid lane. I mean, at this rate, it's certainly going to be the better block. <laughs> so he should have that high ground control as the waves meet. So Sam made straight away top lane. I think he's recognizing he's going to be versus a, a solo lane. And he's going to pull the creep wave. That could be really nice if he's able to meet it with his creep wave in the middle of those two towers. So they're just, okay, so they're actually just going to leave uh, Kezu to start bottom alone. Puppy's just going to straight up start jungle and they're going to do the dual lane mid just to make sure that mid one can actually get some farm. You have to eat some heavy harassment though with so, the torrent. Yeah. Tim's on point there with that, holding back the Elder Titan. And both teams requiring this yeah, second secondary support in that mid lane. So Sam H was able to meet the creep wave in between his two towers, so he's able to deny majority of that wave, but MP also did the same thing with his wave, so top lane should be pretty much farm versus farm until Lone Druid gets level 5, where he can start putting a bit more pressure. Kezu though knows. Kezu though, during this, he knows he's versus a dual lane, because you know, the Kunkka is forced middle to try to help the Tinker a bit, so Kezu should get a good chunk of experience and blast hits down here. It's going to be very nice for him. Again, so Van Mutar gonna make another bit of an attempt on to mid one here. Oh, they've got laser rocket. They bring him down, and th that's gonna be your first blood. This mid lane looking pretty scary indeed. I mean, you, you said what it. you're saying, man. It's it never gonna be nice for the Invoker. And it's the wow. it's the Tinker versus Invoker kind of matchup. You're pretty you're fignip, you're significantly kind of squishier than the Tinker as an Invoker just because of the burst that the Tinker has and the skill build that you can go, which we'll probably see him get like two laser, two rocket, and then he'll hold skill points or something along those lines. And certainly has to be careful with that. Tim's Kunkka hanging around. Tim's now making the move back over. And uh, we'll get eyes on Kezu in the jungle. We'll start to play around with him a little bit. Does have 1437 are hurting across as well. Lands the curse out. Forces the firefly out. And Kezu has to back off. So just creating mass amounts of space for the safe lane PL. Puppy in the meanwhile just still continuing to jungle. Finds himself an arcane rune on Crystal Maiden. Probably the best rune to jungle, of course. So it's just only like 80 more for your Frostboy rather than that 150 or 140 that it is. Bear top almost actually gets brought down by Sam Mates, getting yeah. very aggressive. Sam Mates diving right and deep for it. CS on this top lane, 10 for 5 at the moment on MP. A, a slightly, but I'd say a lot's being found by this. This offlane legion. Yeah, they're keeping up the farm. Sam H is he's loving life up there. He doesn't mind it at all. He should be able to. Yeah, he should be able to farm well. It's until that level five comes out where it's actually threatened. He still has to be like a little bit concerned of just standing there because you just eat the double right click. Pretty much two heroes. That's what going through it is. Midwin though still he's doing fine. You know with the CS at least he's 12 and five, 12 and six to the 12 and six tinker. So that help he's got from it, the elder titan and being able to use that forge spirit is doing well for him, but now the Torrent comes out, they've got level 2. Again, another connection. Will be the Yapsor play with the stomp, trying to hold them back. The X mark onto mid one, dragging him in. 
quite going to have that extra round of burst yet up on Kunku's Tinker. Forcing an early ice wall. It's a big heavy committal that mid one had to do. Getting oh, almost getting torrented again. He has to be very careful of getting hit by those. Definitely almost almost in the burst region with the laser rocket. Very scary mid lane indeed. Cuckoo. Cuckoo's yeah, eating a lot of damage. Very aggressively there, as you say, just knowing that mid one was close to that threshold, that the new damage would be enough. Quite gonna be cancelled. Yeah. Should get the full duration out of it. In, in pretty good position, but as you say, you know, Mib1 is keeping up, he's keeping on rave with the farm despite this pressure. Yeah, Absor's presence certainly working out in terms of just evening the, the flow of this mid lane. Yeah, having that, um, the high ground vision ward as well as the ward inside of the enemy jungle, being able to watch the Kunkka's movements is really helping Mib1 control the lane and know when he can walk up and play a little bit more aggressive. Now we'll see when Puppy starts to, to make some movement towards the lanes. He's level three now. CM, a couple of points of course in the aura to help out the team. Yapso trying for the sleep, won't quite find it. I'm gonna fight into Cuckoo there with the cold snap, but there's the X Mark into Torrent turnaround. Yapso in trouble. Rocket and laser are gonna be up in a second. He doesn't have mana for both though. Oh, I can't quite get in range either way for that laser. Lucky for Yapso that he keeps just the distance to get back to safety. Kezu's feel great in this game though. Level four, Tranquil Boots finished, getting as much as he absolutely wants in the bottom lane. Also contesting the hard camp. He's actually gonna be able to get most of it here. Oh, actually TNC gets both of the big creeps there with the silencer and the PL. I mean, all in all, in, in this opening five minutes, no one is is really being kept that far behind. No. Off lane is pretty much on the same level in terms of farm and XP, mid lane. Other than that, that first blood, it's starting to, to just just even out between the two. Kuka's a little bit behind on the XP, just very slightly though, because of the Kunkas staying there with him a bit longer. Looks like TNC wants to go for their first smoke rotation with the Silencer and Kunka. They've got it ready. It is still nighttime, and here we go. Let's see what they can get with it. Level three on 1437. Should be a pretty easy kill on mid one if they're able to get the X. And it looks like Tim's is going for the full wraparound just to make sure, since it is that level one X. They do have obviously Yapsaw with the availability to try and hold back any sort of play with the Spirit yeah. and the Stomp. But uh, of course, if he gets caught out as well, if he's the one to get gone on, things could certainly get a bit trickier. We'll see if they can close the distance. Mid one moving forward. We'll found a little bit by the laser. Yapsaw is still in good position to react. This part is going to miss here. They try and go in with that one. Kezu's in the area too. Look he's at that in. as well. Yapsaw hits the three man sleep, holding back TNC. And indeed, with the rotation from Kezu, they get one. They may even get more out of it as well. As the three stacks napalm build up on 1437. Kezu heading in deep, looking for that silencer kill. He should get it. He does. He may pay with his life as the tower comes flying through with the hits of Cuckoo as well. No, Another he can't quite reach him. Kezu gets out and indeed japs or with these stomps making sure the secret have the chance to turn. Oh Kezu don't come back in here son. Oh dear. Oh, oh he's gonna die. Yeah he is definitely dead. <laughs> oh that's so much actually going for the Kunkka yeah, there. He looked like he could have gone out. He just got the bounce rune and, and ran past the shrine. Maybe he's worried about someone teeping to the shrine. I think he that's... Was, he was kind of stuck in a, a bit of a hard place there. That's massive for Tim's getting there though. Level yeah. four. No, but the three men stomp. From Yapsaw, but also not even just three minutes up, it's the place that Kezu was, like that presence of mind about being in that mid lane to be able to get those two kills. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. obviously because of Kezu's rotation towards the mid. Raven did find a free tier one down on the bottom lane. Objective taken here for TNC. Still very close in the early days of this game. For two, 1437 has got an invis rune. Sentry's down in the middle though for secret. Half the Suns to do too much in terms of surprise there. Top lane, and he trying to start get some pressure done onto this tier one. Lane. Bottom lane, Raven, he's feeling pretty free here. Even with Kezu coming in, there's not really too much Kezu can do in, in terms of killing the PL on his own. Can certainly cause an issue and try to slow down the farm. They are bringing Yapsor over as well. He gets a good sleep there. There is the chance for the Kezu to close the gap and get on top of these two. They do see him though, you know, they have that ops where they see Puppy and Yapsor walking in. Puppy's just, he's just still been jungling, huh? I, I, I don't think he's moved from it yet. He's just, not been to a lane yet. He's about to be level five, so he's gonna have, maybe if he wants the 2-1-2 two -two build or even level three aura, so goes for level three aura, and maybe he'll just continue jungling. <laughs> Get the aura online for his team, so they can farm better, and yeah, maybe he just doesn't, he doesn't really have like great lanes to gank. Maybe he can set up for mid with the invoker, but bottom isn't really a great gank's top either. But soon we'll see him definitely making motions with Elder Titan since he does have that smoke. 
and then you see. But the levels that he's got, he's going to make a good impact and the, the turn up on him. Top lane, Tim's, he's got his eyes out. Wants to set up for a dual potential with Sam H, but MP is playing it super safe. I believe, yeah, they've got that dire got double ward down, yeah. so yeah. MP knows exactly what's up. And now they're starting to make, this is where they, they're like, okay, well, there's a conca top. We can eat, this is the easy rotation for a secret to make CM and Elder Titan make their way off. They should be able to grab at least one of these heroes if they're able to close the distance. Tim's here are being smart with their movement. They're already starting to back up. By the looks of it, means the secret can't quite get the catch. It's going to be some space for Cuckoo in this mid lane with mid one obviously heading away from the lane, knowing that he himself isn't going to have the support backup that he needs with the rest of his team looking towards trying to find some action up top. Yeah. So this is a, a free lane for Cuckoo as he obviously races towards those boots of travel, 1300 towards the recipe at the moment. Interesting, the patience from Secret there. They were like not really trying to make the aggressive plays because they don't really have damage with those type of like offensive heroes like Lone Druid, CM, Elder Titan right now. They don't really. You know, they don't, they're not really killing at this point. So they're just trying to secure the Lone Druid's farm. Instead of going for the aggressive, they just watch him and secure him. Back to the mid lane. You know, mid one straight back in as soon as Yapsil's back in the lane. Knows that he can feel a little safe. And now bottom lane, Kezu trying to make a move onto Raven. Spirit Lance though, of course, meaning that Kezu can't really go for anything more than just forcing the out back. But it does get him out of the lane. Gives Kezu some space to now start working towards the Blink Dagger. So it will be the double minus is coming out for Secret as okay. expected. The Lone Druid and the Invoker getting it. Pretty soon. I mean, Lone Druid's got his already. Invoker, about 500, 500 gold away. Should be closing in on that one very, very shortly. Yeah. While Kezu is, did he go for the? Did he actually finish the drums first, or did he? Okay. Like, doesn't, he has like two it. pieces, no. yeah, and he's, then he's gonna just go back. Yeah. I mean, he could still change his mind, of course. Yeah, but I guess this is the point where maybe it's, you, you just feel like if you can get that gold for the blink, it's worth it. You know? Make all the difference at this stage. Mid lane trying to move in onto 1437 with the cold snap. They'll land the sleep. Meteor flying for as well. Be really quite enough to tick down the silencer. 1437 will survive behind the safety of his tier one. Top lane, Tim's trying to make a bit of a go, but then he's up on it. It's the first hit root. Sam H is there with the heal, saves him, gets Tim's out of range of the sun strike. He'll be getting nuked down. Try and see if he can get the catch onto Sam H. Yapsor's there as well. We'll get the slow. There's the, the torrent, holds back two of them, but the sleep's there from Yapsor, holding back Sam H and sets up the kill for secret. Nice. Able to get themselves that. Nice kill. And MP picks it up, which is. Great for him to accelerate rather than the supports. And what do we say, Raven? Raven is just going for the straight defusal rush, as we always see on the PLs. No soul ring, though. We do tend to see the soul ring pick up first, just so we can always have that mana to be able to spam. Constantly. Yeah, we saw that with last series off from the hotel with great effect. This is a beautiful Ooh, a triple stack. stack. Dream right here. Oh, I think it's a buddy we get TNT too. Oh, we'll take it. There we go. Lasso, Sunstry, they get the kill. Is that stat going to tick out to the Firefly? He's obviously have to leave it, Kezu. Did he, did he get much from the stat? He got one. He got a two. Oh, oh, he only got one of the big creeps, but... But he's still got a fair bit, I mean... Took most of it. Yeah. And he gets a kill. Yep, he's happy. Absolute dream. Oh no, they just shrine away from mid one. Mid one needed that shrine, you guys. I oh. think he's going to head over. Dude, where's my creeps? Oh. Yeah, he pinged it. Yep. Uh, t uh, t even they even pinged and he's like, they took our stack. <laughs> Feels bad in a half. Kezu also spots that they have an ancient stack. Just off the back of that, Kezu well on his, well on his way. Yeah. I love that he's playing very aggressive though. You know how like, yeah. you see like Moving around. His, his positioning all over on the map from Kezu? It's because he's playing with the double and Midas line. He wants to be that guy who's like forcing action because otherwise it's going to be TNC able to make plays all over the place. So right away they're smoked up. They're looking for that Tinker farming the woods. But now they know he's bottom, so they're looking for a wraparound on that mid lane. So they can get it here. Sam HM 1437. No lasso for 30, targets. but Elder Titan coming in as well to help. More here is a secret. Really set on trying to make something happen here. Dinker, TP's back in the lane. Kuku getting caught up on the slow. Look at Yapsor setting up here with the sleep. Bam! Three he's man. got three. Have they got the follow up? Soon as Strike's not going to be on point. Tim's turns up. They're not going to dive in any deeper. Nice. Look back away. Nice patience by Secret there, though, like being able to disengage like that, not overcommitting by any way, just understanding that there's too many heroes there for really them to overcommit without their big ultimate on the Elder Titan. Big items done from TNC. Diffusal Blade finished on Raven. Samage has the blink down. One lane, Kuzu will be spotting that in time. Not quite. 
not quite enough time to get that stomp down. If only flame break, still stun. During this, it's just, yep, it's Cuckoo just trying to stall. Stall the game, stall those tier one tower pushes as long as possible for Raven to get online with that PL. And he's starting to get online. Diffuse will finish on the way toward that treads if he chooses to do so. And they're smoked up top. They're ready to take an engagement around this PL, probably expecting Secret to react for that push. If it's going to be successful. 1437, very close to that level six. Oh, he's still not six, huh? Yeah. It's quite a slow one. And it does need it. I mean, it makes all the difference, of course, having that global. Secret's bringing heavy reinforcements toward that top lane. It's going to be hard to get a catch, though. I mean, Sam H is the yeah. closest, and he does have the blink. Once they have the blink bad, then they can actually go for it, but... Yeah. He's one creep away. I mean, he might get baited into to going in onto Kezu. They're, they're hopping around in the tree line here. Oh, if Kezu dies here, he's going to be the saddest person ever. Oh, how close is he? Oh, he's so he, close. Yeah, he's 50 gold away. He is so close. I think he spotted them with that sticky. Yeah, he, he saw them with that sticky napalm. And they also have an opt ward, too, that I think caught a glimpse of it. So TNT uses the scan, and it does catch the heroes on the right side, so they are aware that Batrider was kind of a bait. Mid one halfway towards that Aghanims, and we have the Radiance still a bit away, so about 3,000 more gold. Look, it's not on line. But fairly even game, pretty much. It really is. I mean, it, it, quite a slow even. paced game as well. We're yeah. 15 minutes in, it's only 2 to 4. Teams getting objectives, but both being very good at avoiding unnecessary fights. Yeah, that's the thing, is that they, they're both being very patient about not taking dumb fights, and also just. They had like that kind of mirror thing happening where they had the 2v2 in the mid lane and neither of them wanted to get over aggressive. Bad right lasso. He's, He's got the blink out. There we go. Jumps forward. Global silence comes through. And that is going to be enough to buy some time for Sam H. They'll look to move in. Oh, the flame break actually knocks Sam H out of the Sunstrike. Not the play the secret wanted to happen there. They may still get the kill. They put the sleep onto Sam H. Now in return though, the boat flies through. It's going to be TNC taking down MP. And maybe even more Raven moving forward, forcing secret back there. And the flame break came out of the Sunstrike. A little unfortunate there. Hard to say if it, I mean, I probably would have got the connected. It would have been, if it was able it to connect, it would have been close, yeah. But the I mean, perfect timing for 1437 to get the global online. As soon as the lasso comes out, the counter initiation's there. And with Cuckoo able to always force Boots to travel up and join those type of fights in the midst with the rum, they just didn't have enough damage to bring anyone down. MP does pay. But now global is down. Oh, this is as well. He just jumps in. He's found himself a dual target straight in onto Yap, so they'll finish him off in time. And a tower. That was very well played by Sam. Actually, I say they finish him off time, they don't. They were a little slow. Doesn't get the damage. Oh, he didn't get the he damage. He didn't get the damage. So close. Cool. I think I have the info, right? Yeah, I think he got, he's, got, he's got two more now, so. Plus two. Still in a 4 4. TNC starting to take, take, the, take the towers. Definitely going to be a worry the fact that this, this Tinker's, you know, Cuckoo's hitting his stride, isn't he? He's getting the item timings that he needs. He definitely is. They're yeah. scary, scary he's, late. He's scary pretty late much finish. got the play. The dagger's like done. There we have it. Blink, box, 16 minutes, you're fine. This is this is perfect for Tinker. Mid one's on his way toward that axe too, so, you know, he's. Yeah, both mid laners. Away. Yeah, both mid laners certainly hitting the, the timings that they can set. But uh, the question is. You know, Cuckoo being where it, how, how good is Secret actually catching out this Tinker? That's the question. Yeah, I mean, the problem is that they, they need to catch a Tinker so that they can get yeah. these Tier 1s. These Tier 1s are causing them problems because if you look, look where TNC is playing on the map. They're playing up on Secret's side of the map. They're playing inside the enemy jungle, while Secret is very limited to theirs. So if you just look at the map control and you draw the line, and it's like Secret kind of has this, but you just, just naturally looking at that, they have way less to farm in comparison to TNC's massive amount all the way over here on the left side. Wanna land a hunting for him. They're hunting for Cuckoo. Ooh, he's got the blink out to the side. They know where they he is. They'll find him. They'll get him with the lasso. Sunstrike as well. They do indeed catch him. Does take a lot. Pretty much takes the, well, four teams plus a, four players plus a, plus a Sunstrike. I don't even know if they're gonna be able to force the tower though either. Kunkka's TP is down to re react for it. We see puppies pinging it out. Like he says, he's saying like we should we should force this tower. We want it. We need to get an objective once. I mean, they could maybe just kill Tim. Okay, no more TPs are coming through. You're right. There's the setup, bringing back the lone druid, bursting him down. Like Savage, there's Savage roars in time to make sure the duel's not going to be successful. And he goes for the TP out. Did he make? Oh no! The X. X marks there just in time. Great play from Tim's. Brings back MP on the lone druid. They will take him down. They'll hold on to the tower. Find the big kill. 
this time, Sam H. No, he doesn't. He still doesn't get the damage. Poor old Sam H. Again. Poor old Sam H. He doesn't. He never gets the damage. Oh. Yeah, but. But he gets. He's still happy. He's taking these kills. Secret really wanted to get that tower. They were desperate, but TNC understands that they're what they want to be doing in this game. Keep yeah. those tier ones as long as possible alive, so that you have more places to farm on the map. And you see, yeah, right away. You see, one four three seven drawing the lines on the map. He's like, we need to push out top. We need to push out mid. Be sure to keep doing that. We have majority of heroes bottom. Cuckoo, that's you. Interesting build as well from Raven. Diffusal straight into heart. Yeah, must be feeling like they're lacking damage on the side of Secret. It's pretty much just the Invoker at this well, point in the game. Knowing that you can outlive any team fight. Yeah. Well, they have to find a catch. The wards are out. They have the vision. They see that little CM hiding behind the trees. Take him down. TNC starting to get a bit of momentum now. They're pushing down these lanes. Raven at the top of the. The net worth at the moment, 3.7k in that, that bank, so it's concerned to start picking up the the big old pieces of the heart to ask. Radiance, well, Relic should be coming out within the next 200 gold, but it's almost 20 minutes in, he still doesn't have it as the safe lane lone druid. That's very painful for Secret, having him be so set behind. Smoke up, TNC. Wanting to keep the pressure high. Tim's, Raven, and Sam H ready to go. 1437's got the global if you require. They see that, they like know that Secret's not really making any they've, big aggressive plays. They know they're Look in the enemy jungle. Yeah, they've scanned our MP as well. They know someone's here. It's uh -oh. a big catch. He's, how close is he to the relic? He's got to be close on that bear. He's going to be caught out. There's the combo with the global silence. They'll get the kill. That is going to be the lone druid down. And indeed, he was so... He, had he the must gold. have had the, he had 38, he had the gold. He had like 3860-something, oh, no. so he had the gold for the relic, but oh. dies again as soon as he has enough. And of course, uh, as per tradition, Sam H still uh, does not get the damage. Even though he's hit some, he's hit some amazing jewels that are setting up for this, he just never gets the payoff. Yeah. Secret's having trouble just like forcing these lanes out so that they can actually like make aggressive plays and make have a face on the map. If they don't have faces on the map, then that, that big telltale sign for teams to be their farming jungle, we can just kind of invade. If we see one or two bottom, we know that there's going to be an easy opportunity us for, for us to go for that. Yeah. Now they play deep wards too, so they'll always know whenever MP does go there. Puppy X up. Always caught out. X mark into the torrent. Looks like they're not going to follow in on it. A little low on TNC, so they won't. Don't want to get too crazy and dive this tier two. They will, will head back. MP's back in the game. Does he manage to pick up that that relic? Okay. Very close. Got it now. He should get it now. Yeah. He's got usage. the money. Yeah. It's gonna be very late though. 30, 21 minutes. He still does not have it as a safe lane going through. It doesn't help that you know the, the three deaths really hurt him, but it's also not having these powers. He doesn't have more places to farm. Really adding to the potential of his damage output and capabilities at this stage of the game. Still relatively early on in like his game might find. 21 minutes in. <laughs> pretty snappy. Yeah, he's feeling great. And I mean Raven. Raven actually, so he did full commit. I thought maybe he might change, but no, full commit. He's, he's got, got the heart if he wants to buy it. The yeah. courier's going up there too. And eh? <laughs> go on, Raven. There we go. Shop in there we have it. So he did okay, full heart. He I mean as you say pretty damn tanky. Yeah, it, it, do the numbers show? Is there actually the damage on the board from Secret to kill him? It's gonna be, for a certain, quite tough. Maybe building the heart also to kind of deal with the, um, in a different kind of fashion, to deal with the Elder Titan aura, right? The natural order. Of course, the armor reduction is only from your hero, but the magic armor is around the spirit, so having that extra just surge of base HP versus the minus magic resistance and focus spells could just be enough to save him. So definitely a good choice. I mean, he's 22 minutes, almost 3,000 life. Been on the ball. I tell you what. That was instant. I thought he could have got that lasso off. I really. Did it, you? Looked, it looked like he could have. Okay, but I was I was looking at mid for the right. smoke from TNC. He, he so I didn't had, see it. it felt like he had time there. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe the the cars were too long. But yeah, yeah. He, 37 silence out of response. And now straight away, moving in. Look for MP tornado. Will fly through. The boat lies down. MP will survive though. And this is secret now. Look for the turnaround. They turn towards the Legion commander, who's trying to get himself away. Sam H, can he escape? He cannot. Will be taken down. Secret find the kill. Raven trying to stick around for more in this fight. The rocket's getting spammed out, forcing Secret back. But Secret will survive. They get themselves out of this one. They do get the kill. MP was very close to dying there. But the lack of global, because they had to use it bottom for, yeah. to save 1437's life. 
definitely put its part there. And also, they didn't have enough creeps to, for Cuckoo to TP into to have that extra burst damage. And now bottom, they now do find one four three seven. They drag him in. Midborn goes for the Tornado, TP out. And with the Swag play, Raven will punish the Battle Rider, taking down Kezu. It's a secret starting to get stuck into this game and getting some action in return. Jump forward from Cuckoo, trying to burst down Yapsaw. Puppy's there to look to hold him back. Kuku will just jump to the sideline. TP out. Sunstrike not going to be on point. Will escape, get himself back to base. Oh yeah, so 8 to 7. TNC still with a slight lead, but Secret starting to show signs of being able to stop down this, this momentum that TNC have. Radiance is now complete the Lone Druid. And maybe even thinking, maybe that jump down the bottom as well was Kezi. Maybe he didn't want to last year. Maybe it was literally jumping in and he was like, go on. Go on, Global Silence. Oh, use, it, it, yeah. use it. Use yeah, it. Use it. It was And maybe it was just a bait for the ult. Could, could very well have been that way. I thought they would still at least like, commit to kind of trying to kill him, right? That Maybe. was the thing. Like, I saw them jump on him, but they didn't even like go chasing over and like, trying to actually go for the kill. And 1 for 3 7 actually farmed himself a Midas somehow during all this. Okay. Oh, he's, what else is he doing like, on levels now? Yeah, he got, he's got a lot of space in that lane down. Also, he's about to be level, level 12 when yeah. he uses that. Yeah, level 12 now. Two global. Be very useful. And the fact that he can actually scale. Yeah. Quite nice. Only six stolen intelligence so far. I mean, yeah, only To six. be expected in a game where there's not been that that many kills, but uh, it's not the smartest of silences at the moment. To go. Oh, yeah, they've obviously, yeah, they, they've got to be aware of you know, MP's farm starting to, to scale up nicely with that Radiance can, so at least in the bear can. Kuku, very, well, we put, we put towards the axis, it's more than halfway. Ags at Ether Lens, that, that is going to be the point where these team fights are going to be very scary for Speed yeah. if they can't control this Tinker. The Ags makes it yeah, very, very, very scary. So much team fight potential that comes out from that. It's like it's kind of the same concept as like Tinker team fight in comparison to Invoker team fight. It's like when Invoker gets Ags, his team fight's online. When Tinker gets the Ags, his team fight's kind of online. Waiting in the tree line up top. Let's see if he could get a grab. See at the moment, not interested in hanging around up there. It's around as well. Find something. See, even Cooper just playing the same. TP's up at the top lane, comes in from the tier two, blinks up, lays down some of the march. Make sure he doesn't get caught out by any sort of play as such that the Secret are trying to execute up there. Secret have gained themselves a little bit of leeway to be able to push out a tiny bit, but still. Same kind of thing is that they've lost all of their tier two. They've lost every single tower and have not been able to press forward and get onto TNC's side of the map still in this game. They're starting to have to place those tink those tinker wards to make sure that they can watch whenever Cuckoo is going for that split push. But TNC seems pretty content with farming and kind of chilling out for now until they get their next items online for the tinker and for the DR. They're, they're very close enough. Well, what, what are we seeing next from Raven? Okay, just to the, the Manta, Manta, yeah. Okay. More of the dog items on the on the Phantom Lutz, level 16 as well at the moment. Nick one is kind of hanging around on the top lane, waiting for a bit of action for a bit of time. Can't quite find it. We're looking to, to get the BKB next as well to make sure that the global is going to be a little less of an issue and uh, get something done in this fight without having too much of a, a threat of being controlled up by, by Tim's. Yeah, he needs it because he's their, I mean, he's Secret's big team fight presence. Yeah. So once he gets that BKB online, he can not worry about the global, not worry about the Kunkka spells as much, nor the Tinker. And just like, he can like, run in and be like kind of that frontliner with the bear. So we've got what, AC probably being queued up next for MP. He actually hasn't queued anything, but he has casual plate mail. So that's probably it. And Okay, Secret does claim themselves their first tower of the game. Oh. TNC though, they're into Roche off the back of this. Uh -huh. You can take a tier one tower, we'll look for Roche. Now, can Secret get over in time? You can see the warding from TNC is super heavy round it. Got full vision of this area. Very committed for the Roche. Secret looks like they know something's up. They're heading over with the smoke. Looks like, yeah, they're going to be able to have the time to contest this. Where's the jumping? Yep, so looking to lead him with the spirit. Kazu up to the high ground. To focus the bear first. We'll bring it back into the torrent, bringing it down low. Sleep comes out from Yapsaw. Is it going to catch too much out of it? In fact, the bear could be in a lot of trouble here. He's, he's getting beat down upon by these illusions, sent up to the high ground. Axe has just been finished on Cuckoo, and uh, it could have been a more of a perfect time oh, for this God, yeah. Roshan. And they oh. have a ward on the high ground there too, so if he's set up, he can he just can literally just spam the back. rockets. Yeah, he can actually force all the secret back once he gets in position there with that ward. 
I mean, TNC has absolute pure vision of this team fight, while Secret has little to none. The thing is, so obviously, hesitating. TNC can't really take down Rosham that quick. No, so. they do not have great Roche hitters. The PL and the Legion are decent at best. Moment, they've only just taken down to half. It's always the threat of the Batrider Elder Titan versus in the pit too. Just you can, if you stack up, you can hit too by too many of the spells, and it's devastating. They start making their way back in once Secret backs up. Secret does have another smoke, which it looks like they think they've been trying to use. They're setting up for it at least. Very hard, really, to catch out this PL with that stomp. Raven gonna have double ganger at the ready every time. It's back in now, manning up, knowing that the stomp's unavailable for a little bit. Yeah, Secret kind of moving away from it. Not that close. I think they're aware that that, that war vision is, is as great as it is by TNC, and they know that if they hang too near, they're not going to get the chance to jump in. Mid one revealed down bottom. Was looking to push that lane out. Tim's comes forward. As the Glimmer Cave, in fact, he's going to get the catch as well onto Puppy. Drags him back with the X-Mark time. Puppy will Glimmer Cave himself up. You have to look at the sleep to try and hold him back. Got to the neck. No, but he gets purged right. off straight away from Sam H, allowing 1437 to get out the global. Raven now looking for the chase down, focusing MP. Savage Roar will be there from the bear to send TNC back. That is the global down. That's global down and lasso down. They still have ET splitter, and so Secret actually should be a little in a bit of a better position there, to fight here. There is still that Tinker threat, and already Cuckoo starting to lay down the March of the Machines. Jumping forward as well, they spamming do get the out D those rockets. They do have the gem now on the Batrider to make sure that they don't have to fight around that vision in the Roche pit. What about this vision then? Still TNC, not, not quite confident enough to get in and finish it off. Mid one is set up down bottom. He sees Cuckoo for a Can second. Catch him. That's the big catch. Ooh. Oh, the tornado just misses. Oh, he loses so vision. Close. That would have been the sun strike. He gets oh. the snap. Oh, he's done it. He's done it there with that. Can he finish up the kill? He's got the deafening blast. Oh. Well. He should get this, surely. The spirit. The spirit's there as well. Stop. There, they've yeah, got, got him. him. That's the catch they were looking for. Getting that tinker off the map. Straight over to the shrine now. As they'll head to contest TNC's attempt for Roshan. That's the perfect way to do it. Get that Tinker out of the game. Now you've got a much better chance of oh, going nice this CMO. puppy. Indeed, lays down the ult. Sunstrike won't connect, but with the tornado from mid one, they're forcing TNC away from the pit. Raven's ready to come back in though. Still with the illusions, causing issues for Secret, forcing the back. And yeah, Cuckoo's buying back. He knows that he's required for this fight. They need to have him here to have the chance of holding Roche. The boat flies through, connects onto Invoker, allowing Sammy to get in with the jaw. And there's Cuckoo in his presence. The Roche, so are they going to get it? Who's going to get it? Kezu gets, Kezu gets the snatch. TNC will get the kill, though. Can they bring down Kezu twice? They'll bring him down once. That's the Aegis gone. Diffusal Blade charge thrown down onto Yapsor. They'll chase him down up to the high ground. Kezu back in, trying to get them off his friend but it's not going to work. Cuckoo's just doing too much too as he much gets the this. triple with the burst damage that he's trying, flying out. Kezu gets out. But as we saw that, you know, it's all about the Tinker and where he is in this game. Secret knew it. They take him out. They say we've got a chance. Cuckoo says, I know that I'm required. Buys back straight away. They lose the chance of grabbing the Aegis, but they get the Roshan kill. They yep. send Team Secret back to the base. Definitely worth the buyback any day of the week. And it's mid one that gets bursted down so heavily because he committed his BKB to get the kill bottom. So he didn't have BKB for the fight there. So he got X'd up and just completely comboed down from Kunk and Tinker. So without yeah. the invoker there in that map, in that it's like almost impossible for them to have to take the fight. Even if they do take the Aegis, every other spell isn't enough for them to take down this PL with the heart. He's just far too tanky. They should be able to get a Rax here, I believe. They get the tower at least. But they're actually just gonna play it safe. Okay. Shrines are available. And yeah, Lundred was respawning anyway. I didn't think Lundred had a bear though, so I thought they were gonna keep going. He actually does not have a bear for 40 seconds. So maybe they weren't... They just didn't want to take a risk anyway. Tinker had bought back. So taking shrines is a safer maneuver. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, TNC, they have got the lead in this game at the moment. No real need to play it too crazily, as, as obviously with the PL and the Invo uh, sorry, the Tinker looking to be in a good position for themselves. Yeah. They're, they're scaling nicely, despite the buyback off the back of that great fight, picking up the triple kill, still on its way. Uh, World of Wars, the Hex, as his next pickup. Uh, Raven, actually, you've got to be looking for the Blink after the Manta Star. So, again, I mean, with the Blink in the heart, the PL can be just so hard to deal with in these fights. Yeah. Zipping in and out. Getting all the way into the yeah. back line instantly. That's going to be super useful for him. And yeah, the later and later it goes, like it's it's tricorp versus tricorp, and you can never count Invoker out though. So it's 
And it's TNC's here. lineup does, does Yeah, TNC's lineup, they scale super hard because, sure, they have, like, the Tinker, PL, and Legion Commander who scale super hard, like, all throughout because they get... The, those these heroes definitely get super strong towards the later stages, but it's also Silencer. He also does get a decent amount stronger. So we do have we do have quite a game for us once it gets to the later stages of just huge battles that can end up happening. Let's see what the plan is here from TNC. It looks to indeed just be continuing to take these shrines off the map. Very little can be done by Secret due to this. Interesting purchase from MP. Picks up the, the hood now at this stage. Imagine to, to pass off to his bear. Yep, the bear indeed has a moment. So, Radiance and then the casual plate man into the hood. So, doing everything he can to just try and keep this bear alive, I guess, amongst yeah. the spam of this tinker. So much magic damage yeah. coming out from them, yeah. So. Radiance top tower is under attack. Suddenly going to stint the, the offensive potential of the lone drill with this sort of a build. So, we're 34 minutes in, it's, it's not quite where we would hope to be. Definitely not. In overall, uh, overall farm. We have Kuku now finishes up the Bloodstone. Level 19, so... Also, with that Bloodstone, he's able to actually get the level 3 rearm too. Which is pretty painful in teamfights, that 0.75 second rearm. Just being able to spam yeah. those spells even faster. Also, oh, yeah. it's a level 20, so that 75 cast range. Even though it's minimal, it's something. I like that, because, yeah, he did have the Hex queued up, but, yeah, Bloodstone, it's... Yeah. It's it's the more fun item, because, as you say, you just stick around in the fight for days. Once you get those stacks on... Like, you really have to go back to base. Yeah, when you go for the Hex, it's like a specific thing that you need a Hex for. It's like, oh, we're versus an anti mid, yes. you don't have enough lockdown. The Bloodstone is more for just straight team fighting when you, yeah, when there's no specific kind of situation that calls for Because overall, the they've, they've, they've got pretty good lockdown. They have yep. the X-Mark Torrent, they've got a Global Silence, yep. they have the, the catch from the Diffuser Blade PL, they've got the Jewel. So they've got yeah. they've got more than enough like team fighting control that yeah. Yeah, you can just... They just need that Tinker in the fights as much as possible. Yeah, have that mana to be able to spam us everything that you can. Go, Sam H. Go Raven, ready to go for the blink out. Secret keeping themselves safe. So he won't quite get the catch. I mean, mid one, pretty much playing mission catch tinker at the moment. Yeah, even picks up a blink dagger. Yeah. He is just all about trying to make sure that he can punish Cuckoo if he slips up. We've yes, only he... seen it happen the once so far, and, and Mib1 did need help to, to get the kill. He couldn't do it quite on his own. And yeah, TNC coming down, knowing that Mib1's going to be looking for that sort of play. They seem to just have you having better reads of the map overall than Secret by a bit this game. It also helps when, you know, you take all six towers early on, so you, you're kind of like, you have a good understanding of where that enemy team actually can play. Two up on top. Time. Again, still feeling safe. No one up there to be able to catch him. One will, of course, look for the option. Where to go on it, though? So a lot of his time has been spent looking to, to hunt down the Tinker. And that's, you know, keeping him behind the farm of, of both Cuckoo and, and Raven, who yep. still sits at the very top on this PL. Very, very stacked game at the moment. Yeah. Going for the butterfly, nice. Yeah. It's gonna be very hard to go. Oh, they actually oh, seem to find go. the ticker. There, it pays off eventually. As long as they can finish off the kill, yeah, that's got the radius tick. And uh, yeah, he's gonna lose these charges. Will deny himself. But uh, that's exactly what the kill they need to do. Just hunt down, who can catch him out. Things on mid lane, Raven, and 4037. We'll find Japs are alone. I mean, don't sleep on 1437 silence here. I've seen this guy yep. get a rampage on a five silencer before when he was like six slotted. Look at his net worth. He is now pulled ahead of the Leech Commander, full Hurricane fin Pike finished up. So he is transitioning very well. Midas really coming in right now. So, NC wants to try and push without that Yapso Elder Time being in the game, ready to, to hold them back with the Stomp Spam. See how much they can get through. There's five seconds and Tinker's gonna be back as well to, to come and join the fray. One can still do a good job of holding him off with the tornadoes and the ice balls and such. The bears around as well. Cuckoo now jumps in, starts to lay down the rockets, beginning to force Secret back. Let's see just this rocket spam causing a huge amount of issues. Obviously works really nicely as well with the PL. Yeah. Having the illusions out, having that vision for the rockets to connect. Blanket of the march over the racks to allow them to to siege decently. Two-man stomp. 
tornado follow up. MP will look for connection onto Silence, but 37 to quick out with the Hurricane Pike there. In trouble, gets slowed down by the Diffuser Blade. The Shrine trying to keep it alive. The Spirit Lance bringing it down low. Can they save the bear? Looks like they can. We'll get the bear back out to safety. Lucius, though, causing issues for Puppy as he is again forced away from the racks. Yapsaw again trying to hold them back with the Stomp. TNC will back away. Oh, they had outside vision as well, so they were always able to see where TNC was positioned. Uh, Secret did, that is. They placed one right outside their base to know how TNC was pushing. But just look at the wards coming up from Secret. You can see like they're like, we have to play this super defensively in this game. They don't have the map control. Just... Shadow Blade on Kezu. Kind of looking for something here. He does have the gem, though. Get out of here. Obviously finding the Tinker again. Even on his own, he can certainly play around and cause, cause some issues. They see him, though. They just caught a glimpse of him with that ward that they have on the high ground. Kezu's going to get a view of it, though. But they're starting to port Is he going to be able to get out? Or can they catch him? Should be they're able to get They're bringing in Sam H. Sam H trying to close the gap. But yeah, Kezu's already too far away with the Firefly. Done. Gets rid of that quick ward. That's time and space is, is allowing MP to catch back up with the radiance. Mm -hmm. Has the Maelstrom on the bed. Yep, close going for that mule near. Very close to having it done as well. Day 7 as we'll see, very close to that level 18 as well. Got out of it. Raven. Money for the, the Eagle Song. If he wants to start committing towards that butterfly. They're obviously in a game where KB is not going to be the item of choice on the planet. <laughs> no, I mean, bear eventually. Will, yes. But yeah, the it's invoker is just spell away. damage. Yeah. And we do have the Lotus Orb now finished up on Yapsor, who's been... You know, he's landed some nice, like, three-man stops, but overall, I, I would say, in comparison to his big, shiny performances, he's been relatively quiet. This will help him at least be able to use... You know, use his spells in the team fights to the global. And it's also, I mean... Lotus Orb versus Tinker can also be super obnoxious. You're always able to, like, reflect his spells back at him, the laser in particular. If he's able to get, you know, it depends on what Tinker goes for next. Probably the Dagon 5 or something along that line. But reflecting any of those spells can be super obnoxious. It's only been impressive how well uh, Cuckoo's been, been able to keep himself out of harm. But we've seen only, only really been picked out the twice. Yeah, know, despite constantly, you know, mid one and Kezi, they're literally solely just hunting down this Tinker with their Shadow Blades and their Ghost Wars. But Cuckoo somehow still. Still able to, to for, the, for the majority, keep himself a step ahead of them. Yeah, he's been doing doing pretty damn good about doing that. He doesn't have, like, like you said, he does have to deal with one or two things, but it's not like it's like some Storm Spirit who can zip from across the map. It's an Invoker who's kind of like, you know, hunting you, and the Bat Rider has to be hunting you as well. It's much harder for them to really find him if he's playing more tree line. Overall, the game certainly slowing down. I mean, we're 41 minutes in, but it's still only 13 to 8. It definitely feels to be, like, one of the slower games that the the group stages so far, yeah. which uh, I guess is kind of explained to, you know, on one side you, you have this this lone druid and Pete just focusing on farming, pushing the lanes out with the Radiant Spare, and on the other side Cuckoo doing the same thing uh, with the with the team the March machines, shoving the lanes out. Neither team really too interested in taking on full 5 or I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a little interesting that TNC have, have, have started, is slowing down how much they're doing with like the, the whole Legion Silence of combo. We, we've not really seen them go for any sort of pickoffs. No, not too much. And, nor the X, uh, X Tinker play, right? I mean, we're 42 minutes in, and you know, Legion's only got 14 stolen talent. <laughs> I mean, that's not to say Sam has been playing bad. Yeah, he's we been have great. seen he's, he's been hitting some great duels, but he has slowed down. Yeah. No, we have, okay, so we've got a DD top, and Roche yeah. is up. This could be where the next kind of engagement kind of happens. They throw the Sun Strike. Yeah, so he's getting in position to start throwing the spirits into the pit. DNC still doesn't bring it down quickly, even with the DD rune. Their net heroes are not really natural Roche hitters. They're pretty safe Roche hitters, obviously, with the, with the heart. You know, Raven can duck and dive out of the pit, keep himself at max health. They've got a war on the high ground. It's going to get killed right now by the bear, so TNC's vision does get limited a bit. Mid one trying to force bottom in the meantime while all this is happening. Get that tier two. He's gonna get that at least, so good trade coming out for Secret. Not actually, not even really trade because the Roche isn't dead yet. He's just making the space and utilizing it. Bring it, Cuckoo. Smoke picked up. Ready to go. They're trying to wrap around, okay. They want to wrap around and get on top of that hill that they know that Secret was playing on for so long, but Secret seems to know something's up. 
Yep. It looks like... Started pinging around their bear, around the Lone Druid bear, so it looks like they kind of knew that the smoke was in that area. Um, both teams, very good at avoiding each other, yep. it seems. And we're actually going to see as well from MP. He, he's going to be going for the Ags build on the bear. Yep. So you just step out that, that split potential. Yeah, have, I mean, they have to deal with it somehow. They have to keep those lanes forced out to be able to take fights properly. So that's definitely one of the ways to do so. And Volker almost has... Mid one almost has the Octarine finish, though, about a thousand gold till he has that, and that's going to make the team fights infinitely better for Secret. We've seen what happens when that happens. You know, we've seen Miracle Invokers, yep. we've seen the mid one we Invokers, we've Octarine. seen what they can do once they get that Octarine level 20, 21 plus. There is that Hex now on Cuckoo, though. So he and, did have it. And mid yeah. one, I mean, he's obviously got the BKB, but he doesn't have anything that can be in this way. So Cuckoo's quick, mid one can certainly get caught out. Yep. There's going to be some very good usages of the Lotus Orb. This is where, yeah. so since he went the Hex, that's that's actually the best item that Lotus Orb is versed, because removing it, but it's also reflecting it back at him can actually just turn the fight instantly. A uh, bit surprised to see Puppy not really build anything to kind of deal with the Global Silence. He went for the Aether Lens drop, Ghost Scepter, even a Glimmer Cape on top, no Lotus Orb, not even like a BKB or anything like that, just these... It's just these other type of items. And there we have it, as you say, Octarine now finished. Yep. So now it could certainly t start to st turn into a bit of the a bit of the mid one show. I mean, 37. Oh, he looks very dead. Up here. He just comes up the mid lane and, yeah, you ain't Hurricane piking your way out of that one. I him down. Yeah, he was a bit out of position. <laughs> was, he, he kind of went down the lane whilst the rest of his team backed up. I think yeah. the team kind of looked at him and said, what are you doing there? We, 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 we all went home. You know, sometimes that happens. You know, you're yeah. you're the five and you're like the, the shot caller for your team. You're just like, you know, you're telling people to then do stuff. Go ahead, and go then you're like, wait a minute, what am I, what am I doing? This is the case. He's well, down for 40 seconds. Roshan is still up. It doesn't look like Secret are going to try and do anything, though, in terms of taking Rosh within that 40 seconds. I guess they themselves as well don't really have the quickest potential of bringing it down. They're, they're pretty safe in terms of taking it because they have the bear. Yeah. They don't it to tank it, but... The alacrity makes it a bit faster, but yeah, sure. it's not, yeah. not crazy fast for sure. I mean, to be fair, I guess in compar... I mean, yeah, both teams probably could take it down at a similar pace, but yeah. neither pace being that rapid at all. Yeah, there's no... I, as far as I've seen, I'm checking again. Yeah, no solar crest, no medallion on either side. Surprising too, like for the bear. You, yeah. You're throwing a solo crest, and the bear could be super good versus a PL and versus Legion. They're looking for the bear kill. Yeah, they are. Not the real hero. But... They drag it in. They are going all in on the bear. Jump four for Sam H. Sam H. Is like, I want to duel it. <laughs> I'm gonna actually get that bear done. At the same time, down bottom, a lot of split push pressure being the put double catapults secret. and the alacrity catapult. Look at it, just chunk that tower down. Yeah, they get the tier three and they get themselves out. Puppy with the TP away, mid one with the back up down the lane. He'll get himself away from it all. Cuckoo's being sent back to hold it off. The rest of TNC staying in the middle lane. We'll see if they can get any sort of trade. Obviously, here they've already taken down the tier three. They're looking for the rack, moving in again, sending delusions in onto the bear. They've got the torrent to hold it back. Draw. Trolling Raven, sending him away, and again, looks like TNC... They get a trading melee racks with those double catapults. This one's doing it. The pressure that this Invoker can put on, as you say, with the Alacrity, he just clears the whole... Uh, alacrity catapult, dude. be allowed dude. to happen. Uh, alacrity catapult, it's like 300 oh, damage per hit on buildings. TNC are going to be disappointed heavily as Secret just outplay them there with that maneuver. And TNC, they're into the pit, but we've seen them mess around with Roshan and, and not finish it time and time again. And I think this may be another time at that. A secret are there to contest it. They're smoked up. Maybe just, you know, the pace of this game, you know, one decision can really set the pace of this stage. And here we have the lead. If Tora comes out, is he going to connect? Sunstrike will be juked as Raven doppelgangers himself outside of the pit. The Rosh is very low this time now. It's 1800 HP. This is an interesting cheese as well. Mid one. one continuing the split push, kind of trying to force some reaction over there. The Raven, Raven goes back in the pit with the DD. It's very thousand HP. Going down. Flame break, looking to knock Raven outside the pit. It's not going to happen. Global Silence comes out, trying to secure it. They won't get the snatch. Kezi tried to jump in to take it, but TNC will get Roshan, and they will get the Aegis in the hands of the PL. You know, it, it, it does suck for Secret that TNC does get that, but they got a melee they racks. Got the, you know, they got the like, full racks. I mean, I think they're fine. They're happy with that. And I, we, we're seeing, as you say, just mid one could do so much with this split push pressure. Cuckoo really has to be on top of pushing these lanes out. He has to make sure that there's no chance for the secret to get in and do that again. Take a second set of racks because 
even you know, despite how fun the PL is, it's not really the, the, the best kind of lineup to push the stronger people back out. Yeah. If Secret do get ahead by this. That might be a long one on. Good sound of Both teams really settling in for the long haul. Lone Druid versus PL. Aghanim's finished up on the Lone Druid now too, so he can actually push lanes out a lot better. Mid lane looks like he's trying to get aggressive on the Theban here, but... Who's getting aggressive on who? That bear looks like pretty yeah, damn dead. Yeah, with the hexes coming out for Cuckoo, they will claim the bear kill. 300. Down. Really want to try and get a set of racks to, to sort of equalize the situation. As TNC back again in that mid lane. They've just made it so hard for TNC to get anything done with that lead that they've had. It's now started to turn around. Only a 3k lead now at this stage for TNC, which coming up to the 50 minute mark really is nothing at all. Yeah, and mid one is just continuing the split push. Now he's even taking out Shrines with the Forge Spirit, so TNC is starting to feel like, okay, we have Aegis Cheese. We have to get something out of this Aegis Cheese because we lost that bottom ranks. So they're heavily committing now onto the high ground going for this Rex. So if they can get a mid one, yeah, he's, he's just continuing to split. He's working on that tier two up the top. As you say, the Shrine as well being taken down by him. And they, they just don't need mid one on they're defense. For the they, they're going to try and catch him. They're going to try and kill him. Can they find him here in the tree line? What's the BKB? But there's they the jewel. The they lock him down, catch him out, and they should indeed get the kill. And they do. That's mid one down for 80 seconds. Unfortunately, he now picks up the Lincoln Swift. But only he had that then. Aww. He would have been fine. But he's got it ready for next time. He was so close to getting the... He had, like, yeah. I think a little bit less than half a second on the blink dagger as well but yeah perfect by sam h and sam does get his second dual victory of the game hey there we go cuckoo he's ready to play with yapsaw jump four that will be the, the reflect there with the lotus orb sending it back yapsaw trying to duke it out with the glimmer cake has the stomp revved up as well but the second hex is quick in again they do get the cat yapsaw nowhere to run nowhere to hide as he gets brought back by the x mark they'll take him down this is a defense now where Secret is starting to heavily fall apart. Puppy gets forced back, but Cuckoo spam with the laser takes him down. Immediate buyback from Puppy and Yapsaw. If they look to hold this, Raven back onto the high ground. Hasn't quite got the creeps there to remove the backdoor protection. No one's still Booker. 35 seconds indeed without mid one. We'll see how well they can hold here. Raven brought down to half health just as the back up and heal up with the heart of Tarask. Back in. Full lineup of TNC forcing down this lane. It, it's such a slow siege on these racks as we've seen. These racks have been up for forever. Now jumping from Kezu, so if you get Lasso, doesn't quite get the target. Raven with the illusion spam, keeping Secret at bay. Sleep comes out onto three. three. They'll finally get the range racks. Oh, flying through there. Massive one from Yapsil. Clips onto three, bringing TNC down incredibly low. The torrent holds back the bear. The boat won't quite connect. The bear Raven being forced back. down low, but Raven, they can't finish off the melee racks. Somehow, amongst it all, they just don't have the damage for the structures, TNC. They do great at killing heroes, but when it comes to taking down buildings and barracks, they, they, it's just not in their forte. The melee wreck stands, and Secret hold them off, despite being a period where mid was down for a minute and a half. Yeah, the double buybacks. Just coming in clutch there by, yep, Puppy being able to pull that. Oh, and this off. is the big catch, Kezu. He's found Cuckoo, drags him back into the clutches of mid one. Cuckoo will try and walk it off, but he's not getting anywhere. Oh, he gets the bloodstone off, though. The deny, though. Oh, that was like, I think he was like 8 HP or 10 HP. Is down for 50. He does have buyback, Cuckoo. We'll see if Secret can force it out. If they can force it out and take him down again, it could be the game. Still, you've just got to feel the frustration from TNC. Still unable to claim a melee racks. Here comes the Alacrity Bear. It indeed is the push. Raven straight. Looking for the bear. Caught up by the tornado. Yapso looking for the stomp. Follow up. It's going to be juked out by the doppelganger. Raven keeps himself fine. Pushes the lane back out. The secret do take the tier two. Puppy with the frostbite. And to stall. Get himself out of there, Raven. She shadow blade picked up by MP. The full split. TNC have Kuku back in five seconds. Now level 20, 120 GPM. We have to step up on some of these items. Indeed, as you mentioned, maybe expect to see a Lotus Orb again come out. They're, they're going to be absolutely huge at this stage of the game. Lots of money on MP as well. It's got 5.4k gold in the bank. Gets the BKB so we can actually be able to siege. It's a DD bear right now going toward the bottom lane. He's just trying to force the wave out as much as possible while mid one pushes out top. With that BKB and Lincoln's mid one is very hard to actually catch out now. You know, have they got any other ways of popping the, the BKB? I don't know, it's just the jewel, isn't it? 
Yeah, there's no other way to break nah. it through. If BKB's BK 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 off, yep. yeah. No way for him to get it. Until the Abyssal Blade comes out for the PL, which is the next item of choice. Okay. So. Oh, and yeah, he's he's close to having money, and I guess probably wanting to save for the buyback at this state. Yeah. I mean, Raven, of course, this whole game still yet to die. He's eight zero. Yeah, he's eight five. zero. Yeah. I tell you, these guys these guys put up the numbers every time. Put them in your fantasy. They always end up having great kill death assist ratios. Zeus starting to sweep back down along this bottom lane. Has to be careful here. Cuckoo, close to spotting them there with the Shiva's guard. Ketu is thinking about going in, he's got the Shadow Blade. Let's see if we can get some sort of a catch there. They've got Gem on Tim's, they yeah. spot him Ketu's for a moment. already getting out of there, he realizes that he's in trouble. And he will force and blink himself back to safety. Himself out of the clutches of TNC. Forcing reaction though, now he knows, now they know that like three or four heroes are their bottom, so we see mid one continue up on top. The Spirit keeps forcing in mid by Yapso with the stomp. Everybody on Secret seeming to get just a bit of it. I'm pretty sure now as yeah. this goes down. It's still been pretty much st stuck still for TNC lead, but yeah, not not a crazy margin. Just I mean, a 5, it, gold it's lead. just the way in at this stage in the late game. Secret just seems to be playing that little bit smarter in, in making TNC react to them. It's, yeah. Secret haven't really had to do much recently in terms of reacting to that of, of, of TNC. It's constantly just TNC being forced back by the split push, push pressure. And you know, who would have thought of it that the mid one in both the split pushes is seeming to be much more threatening than that of the Cuckoo Tinker at this stage. Yeah, he can, well, Invoker can at least threaten the building, so that's the thing that Tinker can't threaten. When it's set up for top. They need to try and catch this Invoker. But as we said, it's so hard to do so now. They had to pass the gem off now to uh, Sam H so he can go for those duels, because he went yeah. top and there was just an instant ghost walk. He's okay, well. So it's good, good for them to give that to him, and hopefully they'll be able to look for those, look and clean up those wards that Secret did just place with that moment of time that they had to get out of their base. They have three very aggressive wards placed up. I mean, even then, as well, you know, Sam H, even if uh, he doesn't pop the BKB, there's, he's not actually got any item to pop the link. Yeah, exactly. he's not got a halberd or anything as such. He has to pretty much like be silver edged on top of where the invoker is going to be, and then the uh, Tinker walks up, breaks yes. it, and then they get the duel up. Yeah, yeah. instantly. Such a hard catch there. Top. Definitely. She's in the neighborhood. Midborn pushing out a bit. Got a bit of a bit of an adventure. See if he can find somebody. He'll get eyes onto Tim's. See if he gets tempted. It doesn't look like he will. He's playing it safe. Midborn doesn't want to unnecessarily reveal his position. Maybe if he's got a plus one, he can. He's going to head up. Sam H moving around. Sam H, okay, bringing in the Tinker. Watch two's upon it. But already Midborn on the retreat. Quickly out of there. Yeah. And so that's their plan safe. then. With the bots too, they're gonna go for it. Yeah. Bots too, Silver Edge or uh, Shadow Blade plays with the duel. Hard to do though, of course, with this gem on Kezu. Yeah, of course. Sir. And during all this, it's also MPs just sending his bear down bottom and cause, like, continuing the split push. So every time TNC does look to get aggressive, their waves start to heavily push in. And every five minutes, it's those double catapult waves. Well, down bottom, here we have they they managed the hex, to the link, the link and there's the jump board. Mid one in trouble with the control from Tim's and the duel, they'll get the kill. That's gonna be mid one down. That's God luck, and they're gonna clean up the bear too. Big catch from TNC, exactly what they've, they've been trying to do for the last 10 minutes or so it feels, just finding mid one, taking him down. They've got the game plan, like yeah. that's that's their plan now. Just use the boots of travel on those shadow blades to get the pickoffs on the split pushers. Taking down one of those big cores, obviously forcing out the buyback would be the dream. Roshan is up, so TNC could just play it for that one. They're already sending the PLN to the pit, so it looks like they are going to do do it that way. And with no invoker, yeah, Raven and 1437 should be able to take this meeting. I mean, yeah, their damage, their yeah. damage on the Roshan is getting better because 1437 is doing a chunk of damage now. It's doing like almost 250 pure damage per hit with those blames. So Secret aren't going to be able to stop this. Not Aegis and G's in the pockets. TNC, let's see if they can finally get that melee rack. Coming up to the one hour mark. It's game one between Secret and TNC. 
still definitely capable of going both ways. And oh, that's a cat. Zing gets Yapso. Yapso couldn't give himself a life to get the Lumen Cape off in time. Lotus is all bad upon himself. Goes to the high ground, but the lasers and rockets fly through. Cuckoo takes the kill and now ready to look for more. Goes Scepter on Puppy. Isn't going to save him too much as the Diffuser Blade comes through from Raven. They take down the CM, and that's going to be three dead on secret. They do not have buyback. Sammy Four seconds. We'll get beaten down by MP. There's Four the buyback from Yaps. Yaps back in, and yeah, you're back on. They can get Puppy back into the game if they feel the need to do so, and they will. They're buying back. They're looking to do their best to hold this. BKB is out on the side of TNT. 40 for 37 is not enough to save him, though, as he gets taken down. They try and turn towards the racks, but Raven's getting beaten down upon by the space. Trying to man up. He's got to be careful, Raven. Gets caught out by the Absor ult. As the split comes through, that's going to be the Aegis out and down. Can they kill him a second time? Cuckoo goes forward with the Frostbite there, and the slap there from the Absor Stapler. Punches through the head of the Tinker. He'll fight back Cuckoo, trying to get back in and stuck him with Raven as he goes in with his second life from the ages. MP being forced back to the base. Very low on health and mana. Sam H coming back forward. Does have a duel if he sees the opportunity, but Raven getting brought down. Had the doppelganger trying to get his way out of it, but he gets nuked down by Puppy. Oh, Cuckoo's in trouble. Ice. And now Cuckoo's got caught out. This is looking to be a dieback on the Tinker. No way to save him. Cuckoo's down for 100 seconds. Raven, Raven to two. he's brought back as well. He's looking towards MP, but MP with the hook. Keeps himself safe up to the high ground. The illusion still bringing him down. It's not quite enough damage. Raven caught up by the stomp. Now we'll turn his attention towards Japso, but the AoE deafening blast from mid one forcing both Tims and Raven Stop away. Raven, the tornado from the low ground. Mid one's found out Raven. This is a massive kill. If they can take Raven, this will be a oh dive back on Kugu and Raven. He's trying to get himself away. Still the double going outside of the frostbite and the root, but it's not going to pay off. He's down. There's double no kill for mid one. This could be, I mean, it should be game with no. Tinker for a minute, no Legion for 80 seconds, no PL for two minutes nearly. Oh, what if they, oh my god, they really wanted to force it so badly, but they didn't even kill the melee racks. They didn't they even just, kill the melee racks. That was Aegis, that was Cheese, that was the double buyback. They super commit on it and they still can't. Did Legion actually buy back too? Wait, Legion bought back too and came yeah. back into the fight. That was triple dieback. And that's 1437 dead as well. Caught out by the lasso. He oh, has got no. his buyback available. That's the game. They are going straight for tier four. They're going straight for GG secret and they'll get it. GG is called as TNC tap out. And in a game where it just you know, went to the one hour mark, Secret just kept their composure that little bit better. As a TNC, despite having a, a, a strong early game and a relatively strong mid game,